everyone. Uh, so today we have uh, uh, the great opportunity to chat with uh, P. Diana, who's uh, a leading artist, uh, a painter, a sculptor in Singapore. Hi, Diana. Hello. Uh, good to have you here today. So could you please uh, elaborate uh, about your concept uh, a little bit more? You know, how, how your current inspirations have shaped your art expression? Uh, it's always there actually. To start your paintings, I need a good start actually. Sometimes I I don't plan actually. So in front of canvas I sit there and have a, just a, have a look there. Mm -hmm. And it happened. Spontaneously. Yeah, the sketch is very important for me. Right. Start actually. Right. Once it's I start sketching, on, sketching on the canvas itself. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. So I like to bring the essence of the emotion, feelings, state to the canvas. It's right. all of a pure state. Yeah, that's right. what I feel. Notice my paintings, most of the paintings, I don't draw very realistic with features or uh, like uh, opening eyes mm. to show the expressions of feelings. So just with the uh, strokes of lines, you can mm. uh, capture the, I hold the emotion. Other yeah. part uh, is uh, more important is colors. For me, color is also very important actually. I like to work on both uh, monochromes and the bright colors and also like different colors uh, with uh, heavy textures with palette techniques. So that's also helped me a lot now currently which I'm using same uh, texture and subject textures and uh, lines in my subject of semi yeah, How do you work with your colors? Do you plan? Because you don't have sketches when you create your artworks, right? Yeah. But when it comes to color mixing, do you have a pre-plan? Yes, is that, uh, is that also I do good? have. Before that, I like to say also, I'm very bad in choosing colors for myself, for my own personal dressing, actually. Mm. <laughs> for painting. Before choosing the sketches, I, I choose color, actually. Mm. So what color I'm going to do? Yes, that's color. interesting. Mm. So sometimes sketch comes secondary, where the color comes first. Usually it's the other way around. Yes, yeah. For many artists uh, that I've spoken to. Color is one of the, one of the most important aspects, which I really have to say. Mm. Because uh, that's that's the first things that attract to the viewers. Mm. And also, it, it also can hold uh, the emotional feelings. Colors can react, actually. Mm. Color is very important aspect. But in this, uh, in this, more than two decades of uh, creating art you must have come across uh, experiences that have inspired you or, or affected you or something you know uh, in, in some way you must have it must have been in your memory uh, is there such turning point in your in your career yes, I have to say because after college my subject has been uh, uh, the main subject was working as semi figurative mm. the early days of the third artist. After mm. that, I went to college, it was again a change to abstract painting. Mm. One day, all of a sudden, I was uh, sitting in front of canvas and suddenly a cow appeared in my painting. Mm. So, I didn't realize it was realized by my wife. Mm. So she was mentioning that, uh, you know, this is your childhood memories, but it was there actually in my mind. and. It came out so of it was in your subconscious? Yeah, subconscious yeah. is been. It was very easy for me to portray it in my canvas as usual, like without any pre plan or sketch. Mm, right. So it happens that spontaneously, that moment, how it changes, it changes. Even that is spontaneous yes. to some extent. Yeah. Mm. I don't like to, that's why it has a little. You don't like to be controlled, am I right? Yes, yeah? I don't like to be controlled. Mm. So I want to be more. Uh, freedom of when I choose my subject and I just want to go as it is. Uh, sometimes I like to use the uh, character of the materials, I don't like to change the character right, of the materials. Right, yeah. But certain part I have to do it because we need to be, you know, to be handled it in that way. So I have to do it. For your concept, yes. yes. Yeah. So I have to change certain things. But mm -hmm. most of the times I like to leave it as it is. As as it it is. Each material has its own characters and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the... Um, yes, like how we all have our own yes, characters. So yeah. sometimes you try to change, if you not change, you leave it as it is. You just go with the flow, <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. We have done a fantastic, uh, a majestic series of uh, larger than life sculptures with your found media, which is also now in the Fort Canning Park in Singapore. And uh, congratulations on that. It was the yeah. inspired you to actually uh, put such a large piece with, with uh, a considerable uh, amount of monetary value uh, on auction. No, oh, actually, I started to give my works for options and uh, charities, charities yeah. earlier also, but not this uh, big uh, 
promote our value of our works. Okay. So as an artist, I, I thought I had to also do contribute something for the needy. Oh. So, for people with special yeah. needs, yeah. you know, special children needs. rather, yes. you know, because the proceeds go to 100%. underprivileged uh, children with special needs, yeah. uh, particularly autism. Hopefully, it goes for a bit for higher prices. Right. So, so it can benefit yeah, uh, the main children with autism. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a noble intention and uh, we appreciate you for that. Okay. Once again, it's an honor to have you, uh, Nana, okay. uh, as one of the participating artists. And you have been inspiration for many uh, other artists as well in your, in your career span. And I'm sure you'll continue to do that. And uh, yeah, Nana is very proud of you. Thank you. Yeah.